Hey guys, welcome to uh, Mecklesen RV. Um, today we're going to show you how to hook up your uh, travel trailer uh, bumper pull. Uh, this works for any uh, bumper pull trailer. Uh, a lot of you have had some questions, so uh, we're just going to give you a brief little video on how to do it. Uh, so I got it set up. I backed the truck up. Got the ball under uh, the tongue right here. Uh, you just got to have it lined up so that uh, you can kind of see there's this little cone sh shape it kind of funnels in uh, in that hole uh, so you don't have to be directly under the space where the ball goes you can be a little off to the side or a little forward uh, but you don't want to be uh, back because uh, that's where the coupler is uh, so if the ball hits that it's going to push that coupler up and it won't slide in there um, so it's best if you're a little bit more forward than back, um, it will slide on. Um, and if you have to, you can uh, give it a little push uh, side to side or back or front uh, to help slide it on. Also, if you keep uh, this area greased in there, uh, that helps out a lot too. Uh, so once you get your vehicle backed up under your trailer, uh, you'll either have a hand crank or electric jack. Uh, you just crank it down until uh, the ball sits down all the way. Alright, so now it, the ball is completely on. And you can tell by if you keep cranking it, it'll actually start uh, squatting the truck. Or the hitch itself might have a little uh, movement to it um, so once it's the ball is all the way in there uh, you go ahead and lock your coupler and this kind you just push this back and it'll lock it and then you put a pin or a bolt with a nut on it through there and that just locks uh, the coupler on uh, so it won't come off uh, and there's mainly two or three kinds of couplers you got this kind um, this is more on the smaller trailers uh, and it's got a little lock right here uh, to flip it up uh, when you're unhooking it And I'll show you another one uh, Just on this trailer right here. You got this slide uh, So this you will pick up and it slides forward uh, and right there. There's a little groove um, And that'll just lock right there so it can't slide back and then you'll put your bolt or pin right through that hole uh, right there um, but it's all the same way how to hook it up um, and then once you get that all hooked up uh, you hook up your chains uh, right here and they'll go right there just like that now if your chains are sagging quite a bit and they're dragging uh, you'll cross them and if they're still sagging, uh, you just give it a little twist uh, and then you can hook it up. Uh, you just don't want it so tight um, so that when you turn there's uh, room for the chains to flex and won't bind up. Uh, then you have your seven way uh, right here. Uh, you can see there's a little groove part up here uh, and you'll find the same thing right here. Uh, so at the top, that's where that groove will go. Uh, so it just goes like that. Sometimes it'll be uh, on the bottom. All depends on how the vehicle manufacturer installed it or aftermarket. Um, so you just get a little wiggle, make sure it's all the way in. And then if your trailer is big enough, you'll have a breakaway. Um, that's just an emergency brake pretty much uh, it's a little pin in that box um, and we use carabiners uh, to go on the end of this loop and that'll hook on the same place where the chains hook but never hook it to your chains because uh, if for some reason the trailer came off the ball and the chains broke and this was connected to your chains then your emergency brake would fail so you never want to hook this directly to your chains hook it next to your chains and most of the time these cables are a little long so all you have to do is just put a little loop in it uh, don't make it tight uh, the more loose it is the less slack there will be 
and then you just hook it right there and you can see it's already it's pretty straight um and you don't want these uh sagging rubbing on the ground because then the cable will wear off um if it catches something then it will uh might get ripped off and then your brakes will lock up um and then the last thing uh, once you get all hooked up just go around turn your lights on make sure all your lights are working your brake lights and uh, your turn signals um, with the brake lights it's best to have two people help you or have another person with you uh, so that you don't have to go back and forth and you'll actually be able to see if the brake lights are working um, so yeah that's everything um, that you need to know to hook up a, your travel trailer uh, bumper pull trailer uh so thanks for clicking on the video um and feel free to shop at mecklesen rv